Basilica was finished then in 1952. And in 1952, for the consecration of the church, they brought in the mortal remains of Jacinta, as I told you yesterday, and they, then later Francisco. Jacinta was intact, Francisco was corrupted. About two and a half years ago, they brought in Lucia. Lucia. Uh, so the three of them, the three little shepherds, as we call them, they are inside the basilica. The basilica has a capacity for 5,000 people. 5,000 people. Uh, so, uh, in 1922, when they were celebrating Mass here at the Little Chapel of the Apparition, they decided to pray for rain. So, they, they didn't get uh, any rain, but when they looked behind them, there was a spring of water that came out of the ground. So, the Little Chapel is there, and you see that round bushes with the statue, the golden statue, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. That's where you have the taps to get holy water. Well, uh, the little chapel of the apparition is the most important place, the goal of all the pilgrims. That structure around, that structure around uh, that you see from here, that those columns and the glass and that wood, uh, that was placed in 1982 when the Pope John Paul II came as a pilgrim. It was not an official visit, he came as a pilgrim to uh, offer the bullet to Our Lady and uh, at the same time to say thank you because Our Lady threw the medal of the rosary, our lady of the rosary saved his life, please, right? <laughs> Things will change. Uh, anyway, it's like a big convention center, a big church. You should go inside as well. On the underground, there's the confessionals, if you need to go for confession. And inside as well, they have the perpetual elevation chapel, where they have a nun 24 hours per day. Of course, they treat the nun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, praying for us sinners. So praying for peace in the world. If you want, you can also join that nun. She's uh, in blue, representing heaven, Our Lady of Fatima. So, so you can go to this perpetual adoration chapel. They also call it Laus Duren, Laus Duren Chapel. Uh, this church was just a church, but a month ago, or even less than a month ago, the Pope Benedict the XVI granted the title of Basilica. So today we have two basilicas. Uh, what's a basilica? Well, it's a special title given by the Pope, by the Vatican, and usually to a church, to a church that uh, has a relic, a relic or a special devotion. In this case, we don't have a, a relic, a body or so. They brought from Rome a stone from St. Peter's tomb, right in the St. Peter's uh, Basilica, underground, there's St. Peter's tomb. So the Pope brought uh, what it was here uh, last year. He brought a stone. So the stone was placed in the altar. And uh, because of that stone, it's in a way a relic today, we call it a basilica. But this basilica is very special. Very, very special. Why is that? Because no, that's okay. Ecumenic that's okay. Church. That's okay. Ecumenic that's right. Church means okay. that all religions yes. are welcome. See, we have to come here with an open heart. Solidarity, friendship, peace, whatever, charity. But uh, it's a, an ecumenic church. All the people of the world are welcome in this church. And if you see, it's funny because the word Fatima, see, you say Our Lady of Fatima. And you know that Fatima, it's a Muslim name, right? It's a Muslim name. So sometimes people get confused. But Fatima was she the daughter of Muhammad, the prophet? Yes. But Fatima, it's the town we saw yesterday, a church and the graveyard, two and a, well, two miles away from here. That is the village Fatima that comes from the Muslim days when the Portugal was occupied by the Muslims. So they kept the name Fatima. People would come here because the closest town was Fatima, so they named the place Fatima. But you know that this area is known as Cova di Villa. But just to say that Fatima is a Muslim name and we are in a Christian shrine. It's interesting.
Welcome to the English-speaking pilgrims. As today is Thursday, we will have the procession of the Blessed Sacrament after the Rosary, and we pray for priests and priestly vocations. Thank you. 